Oh wow, interesting. Okay, where are we? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Gewaldig. Gewaldig. All right, here we go. Wow, I might be losing my uh, eyesight. Um, all right, that would be interesting. All right, well, hopefully not. Mm. I don't know, maybe I am though. All right, hopefully not. If so, okay, we'll have to figure out what things are saying. All right, here we go. Uh, oh, oh, so as I said yesterday, today we are going to discuss um, Chomesh, how we calculate the Chomesh. Ho, ho. Let's jump in. Iboyalu, we're on Nun Gimel Omud Bays, about five lines from the bottom. Iboya Luhu. They ask the Kasha Chom Shom Milagov or Chom Shom Milivar. Ho ho. Do 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 do. La 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 la. Okay, so when we talk about a Chomesh, Chebe, this is huge. This is huge. I feel like this has come up since forever. Um, the idea of a Chomesh and like how a fifth is really a quarter. Because the Shaila, and here, here's the Machlekes. I don't remember if we've seen this before. Have we seen this before? I don't know that we have. Um, so the question is, is the Chomesh Miligov? Is the Chomesh um, um, sort of, well, if something is a hundred, you know, if it's a uh, hundred dollars, so then it's 20% of a hundred dollars. Um, so that'd be twenty dollars. So you add twenty dollars and it's a hundred twenty dollars. You, you add a Chomesh, you add twenty percent. The other option is that the fifth is not coming from milagov, it's not com- coming from within it, it's not 20% of it, it's actually coming from outside of it, meaning we, we are at, meaning, right, if you think about it, 120, so when you, so we had 100, and then we added 20, so then t- the 20 that was added is now less than 20% of the total, meaning because 120 um, uh, that would be 24 would be a fifth of that. I Meaning, So once already you add the fifth, the amount that you added is no longer a fifth of that amount. So maybe what it is is that what, what you want is that after you've added it, the amount that you added is a fifth of the total. So meaning if you take, let's say, 100 and divide it into four fourths, so 25 each, and then you add another fourth, so you have five fourths, which is 125. So now the quarter that you added, the 25 that you added, is one fifth of the total. <laughs> I don't know if I did a good job explaining that. Um, but the question is, is it basically a fifth of the amount, so 20%, or is it a fifth of the total after having added the fifth? So really what you're doing is you're adding a quarter, and then you have five quarters, um, the and then okay so now one the quarter that you added is is one fifth of the total number of quarters <laughs> so if you have a hundred basically you would add twenty five and now you'd have twenty five and the twenty five that you added twenty five is one fifth of one hundred twenty five all right so that's the machlekes so you buy the that's the kasha chum shumi legov or chum shumi levar is the chomesh sort of twenty percent or chum shumi levar or is it adding twenty five percent which will then be 20% of the total after the Chomesh is added. Omer Vina says, Ravina Toshma come near Abailim Omrim Be'esrim Vichol Udom Be'esrim Habailim Kodmin Mipnei Shemosifin Chomesh. Omer Echod Habe Ole Be'esrim Ve'echod Abailim Nosnim Esrim Vishesh Esrim Vishnaim Abailim Nosnim Esrim Vishava Be'esrim Vishalosh Abailim Nosnim Nosnim Esrim Vishmona Be'esrim Ve'abo Wow. Wow. Okay, so... What was this example? Who could explain this to me? So it's talking about where you have hektish, okay? So a fellow is maktish, uh, he's maktish something, and now he wants to redeem it and pay the value to, to, uh, to the Bede Kabais, now to the temple treasury. So now if he says, okay, so I'm going to redeem this at, uh, and it costs uh, $20. Somebody else says, I'll redeem it for, I'll, you know, I'll also pay $20 to redeem it. 
So the Bede Kabbai says, well, the, the truth is, when the person who is Makdash it redeems it, he has to add another Chomesh. He has to add a fifth. And we're assuming that that's going to be 25. So of course, um, if it's 25, so clearly then we're talking about Chomesh uh, Milivar, right? That you're adding, you know, a quarter, which is five. A quarter of 20 is five. You're adding that, so it'll be 25. So the five that you added is a fifth of the total of 25. So it's, so that's, we're, we're going to see that... Um, that from here we're going to say that it's Chomesh Milavar that you're adding, that it's really 25% that you're adding. But basically the scenario here is that you have a fellow who is Maktish something and now he wants to redeem it. And he says, uh, you know, uh, I, the value of this is 20. Um, so I'll redeem it for 20 and I'll add a fifth. So it'll be 25. Now, if somebody else says, you know what, I'll offer 20 for it. So we prefer, um, so we, 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 we go with the, person who is mocked ship because since he's going to have to add a fifth so ultimately the temple treasurer is going to get 25 if he redeems it whereas if the other person redeems it that person's not going to add a fifth so it'll just be 20. Now if the other person said 21 so now it's, we're kind of in a funny state because on the one hand he's right this other person is valuing the hectish at a higher rate than the 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 person who is Maktashit is valuating is valuing it, right? The person who is Maktashit is saying, I'm gonna pay 20 for it. The other person says 21. So on the one end, we'd rather prefer, right, it's in the interest of a temple treasury to go with the other person who says 21. It's a higher number. But at the same time, at the end of the day, the person who is Maktashit is gonna to have to add a fifth. So he's ultimately at the end of the day going to be paying 25 as opposed to the other person paying 21. So we'd we'd still go with the person who is Maktashit However, there is a detail here, which is since the other person valued this item at 21, so it's not nice for the hectish that we're going to now value it at a lower rate at 20. So what we do is, okay, so the, the, um, uh, be'etzem, we, uh, the, the person who was mocked it will pay the 20 that he valued it at, valued it at plus a chomesh, plus a fifth, and it'll be 25. But because the other person, valued it at uh, 21, so he adds another dollar. So he pays 26. And similarly, if the other person valued it at uh, 22, so again, he'll, uh, the owner would pay 20 plus 5, which was his valuation, so 25, but because the other person said 22, you'll add another 2 and it'll be 27. If the other person valued it at 23, it'll be 28. 24, 29. 25, 30. Um, and I guess if he offers more than 25, if he offers like 26, well then I guess that the other person would probably redeem it. Okay. So back in the Gemara. So Toshma, come here. Buy them. Omrim be'esrim. If the owner says, "I will redeem it for twenty v'choladim be'esrim," and everybody else, you know, and, and the other offers are for twenty as well. Habay them kodmin. So priority goes to the the one who is makdishit. Nipneishim osif and chomesh because he's going to have to add a chomesh, and um, therefore um, it's going to be twenty five, and ultimately the treasury is going to get more. But if somebody says, I'll pay 21 for it, well then, so the owners would give the 25 that they normally would have given, plus the extra um, one. Um, okay. If the other person said 22, and the owner would, the, the Makdish would give uh, 27. Uh, would redeem for 27. If the other person offered 23, then the Makdish would, would um, redeem it for 28. If the other person offered 24, then the owner would offer to what would pay 29. If the other person offered 25, then then the owner would give 30. Okay, fine. Because and the reason why, um, you know, if the other person offered, let's say, 24 or even 25, I guess, we say that the owner would pay uh, 30 and not, uh, well, no, if we say 24. So so let's say it's 24. So we say that the owner is going to pay 29, right? Because the 20 that he would normally pay, pay plus a fifth is 25, plus the four from the other person would be 29. But theoretically, um, why not, why shouldn't it be a chomesh of the, 24 of the higher rates so let him pay 24 and then a quarter of 24 would be six and then add that to the total you should pay 30 not 29 um so we say well because we don't add a homesh to the other person's higher the the external person's higher rate uh we only charge the homesh based on what the owner would have paid but we do add however the extra that you know the extra the the, the difference between 
what the other person was offering versus what the owner was offering. Okay, fine. Uh, I guess that was pretty technical. But shmamina, chum shmamina. But the operating principle is that when we're calculating the chomesh, we're calculating it as um, sort of adding a quarter to to it as opposed to a fifth. Kitanoi, it's like a machlek is tanoi. V'yosef chamishiso olav that you add a chomesh sheyei hu v'chumsho chamisha. Um, that um, it and then plus its fifth. Uh, uh, should be a fifth, meaning chomesh uh, mi le var, I believe. Um, yeah, they write, they write that. Meaning at the end of the day, the total is gonna, the total that you add is gonna be a fifth of the total. No, it's a fifth of the principal amount. So chomesh mi le gov. Okay, fine. Ah, interesting. So, what, so is this chomesh ma'akiv or not? So for example, if you have Meister Shani, okay? For example, you have Meister Shani. You have a bunch of, uh, I don't know, wheat, okay? And uh, it's Meister Shani. So you have to either eat it in Yerushalayim or you can transfer the value onto money. And then once you transfer the, if you're machalit, you transfer its Kedusha onto money, so then you could use the wheat and you'll bring the money to Yerushalayim instead of the wheat. What if you only were machalit onto the principal amount but not onto the, you didn't add yet add the fifth, right? So it's a hundred dollars worth of wheat. So you're mechalet onto a hundred dollars and you're going to, you know, and, and you didn't yet add the additional 25 to make it, so you didn't add the fifth yet. So can you consume the wheat yet? Or do you need to be mechalet onto, uh, you know, the, the principal plus the fifth and only at that point you can use, uh, is it considered mechalet? And at that point you can use the wheat. So Dalit Badalit Parik Vachinafshe Mosif Chomish. So do we say that look, you know, the four parts cancel out the four parts. That meaning Ba'etzem, if it's a hundred dollars worth of wheat, so you pod it with a hundred dollars with a hundred dollars, and then the uh, additional fifth that you add is a separate khajbin. Amachomish lo ma'akev. So the chomish is not ma'akev in from in, in that in that in that view. Or Dilmar perhaps I bought bichamisha. Parik uh, makiv or no? When you uh, um, 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 are pode something worth four, you are pode it for five. Meaning something worth a hundred dollars, you're going to be pode for one hundred and twenty-five dollars, and it's not considered mechulal until one hundred twenty-five until it's redeemed on one hundred twenty-five dollars. Um, Ravina says Ravina Tashma come near hadmai ein loy choymesh that um, demai does not have a chomesh. Okay, if you are being okay, so demai of course is a uh, um, 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 uh, let's say grain. Let's say you buy wheat from an amaritz, and so the shaila is: look, my uh, truma they separate because it's not that much. Really, any amount could be technically truma. But mice is already, you know, talking about ten percent, and then another ten percent. So they might not separate that. So therefore, you have to out of suffolk, you need to out of an abundance of caution, you need to separate um, your own miser and miser sheni. Now, when if you want to then be poded the miser sheni and mechal it onto money. You do not need to add a fifth. There, you would just do the face value, the karen. So the mai ain't no By the mai, you don't have to add a chomesh if you poded the mai sheni of the mai. Vein no beer, and also um, right um, um, and years three and six of shemitah. So you go to Yerushalayim and you say vidui maiser biarti akedish min abayis that uh, that right, that you're up to date with all of your tithes. But that is not the case with mai um, sheni uh, 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 of uh, with I guess Meiser, Meiser Shani uh, of of uh, of uh, Demai, right? That I guess you could still be behind, I guess. Um, fine. Ha Karen Yesh low, but there is the principal. Right? I mean, we said that there's no Chomesh by Demai, but there is the principal amount. So my time. How can we make a distinction between the Chomesh and the Karen? So Karen Demaakev Bidoyraise Isa. So the answer is because since uh, the karen, the principal amount, is what's ma'akev when it's chayev and ma'isur sheni mido oraisa. So also, so so the ma'akev mido oraisa isa mido rabbanon. So also um, by demai, which is only mido rabbanon. So you're separating ma'isur sheni mido rabbanon. So you still need to to separate the principal amount since you know by you know that that's kind of the oraisa what's ma'akev. 
Chomesh, the Loma Aki Bidoraisa, Laisa Bidorabonan. But since by Maisu Shane Midoraisa, the Chomesh is not Me'akev, that if you did not separate, uh, if you did not uh, uh, add the Chomesh, if you were not Machal, including the Chomesh, right, to the current, well, if you weren't Machal, the Maiser, onto the principal amount plus a Chomesh, the Maiser Shane. Um, so the main thing is the principal amount. The Chomesh you obviously have to do, but it's not Me'akev, you could already consume the wheat. Um, so therefore, when it comes to, so, 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 okay. Well, I feel like I'm all over the place over here. So therefore, when it comes to my Sushani of Demai, so only the principle, in that, by, by my Sushani of Demai, you only have to worry about the principle of Mount, the, the Karen, because, um, since my Sushani of Demai is Midir Abonon, so we say that, look, the Karen, which by, when, by my Sushani to Orisa is Me'akev, so then you have to do that by my Sushani of Demai. The chomesh, however, which isn't me'akev, and you can already consume the wheat once you've paid the karen, even if you have not yet paid the chomesh. So the chomesh is not yet me'akev in that respect for the chilo. So don't worry about it when it comes to my sushani of demai, which is only midir abundant. So we see that um, that when it comes to uh, being po my sushani, technically speaking, if you're only po onto on to karen, um, 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 you would already be able to consume the wheat. You would, of course, still have to pay the uh, uh, chomesh, but at that point already you can consume the uh, wheat. Lema Kitano, let's say that this kasha about if the chomesh is ma'akev or not, let's say that it's take imachloikes ta noim. Nosan esakeren vilu nosan esachomesh. Oh, so a scenario where he was mechal ma'isusheni onto Karen, but not onto the chomish. He didn't add a chomish. Rabbi Eliezer, oh, Mrs. Rabbi Eliezer, yoichal, you can already eat yoichal yeochol. No, since Karen, the no, since the chomish, yeochol. Maybe yeochol. It could be eaten at that point already once you pay the principal amount. Rabbi Shia Omer says Rabbi Yeshua, lo yeochol, that it cannot be eaten if the chomish has not yet been added and it hasn't yet been redeemed onto the principal plus a fifth. I feel like my brain hasn't been working on 100% today. What? How many coffees have I had today? I think two. That's not bad. I don't know. Like I woke up this morning. I was just like my brain was like a little bit mushy. Do you think it's possible that I'm like making my brain like permanently mushy? Some, somebody suggested that recently that maybe I can um, throw out my brain. You know, like you can like Overstrain, like, you know, like, like, I don't know, other parts of your body. Um, maybe you can, like, overstrain your brain. Nah, come on. Ah, come on. You're, like, working out. It's like we're giving your brain, like, a workout. It, gets, it just gets stronger, I think. I don't think you can blow out your brains. Can you blow out your brains? Sharna? Somebody? Um, or maybe with Aaron, somebody, uh, uh, yeah, maybe my brother Chesky knows. Can you blow out your brains by uh, using it too much? Ah, come on. So where are we? So, so, Amr Eliezer, okay, where am I, where am I? So, 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 Lema Kitanoi. Let's say it's Taka Machlikas Tanoi. Nosen is a Karen, Vili Nosen is a Chemesh. So if a person um, 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 gave the, oh, oh, so he's pulled the Maishusheni onto the principal amount, but not the, he didn't add the fifth. Rabbi Yezu Omer Yeochur. Rabbi Yezu says it's alright, you can already eat the wheat. Um, Rabbi Yeshua Omer Lo Yeochur. Rabbi Yeshua says that you cannot eat the wheat if you haven't yet uh, added the fifth. Omer Rabbi says, Rabbi Nirin Divi Rabbi Yezu B'Shabbos. Rabbi says that, look, I think that we can hold like Rabbi Yezu when it comes to Shabbos. What does Rashi say? Rashi says, B'Shabbos Pnei Kvod Shabbos. Lo Yaakim Melechol B'Shvil Chomesh. That out of the honor of Shabbos, you know, you can already eat the Meister Shani, you know, don't, um, don't hold back just because of the Chomesh. Uh, but we should hold like Rabbi Yoshua during the week that the Chomesh would be Me'akib. From the fact that we said, look, I think we should hold like Rabbi Yezer on Shabbos, means that he, he argues even during the week, right? Meaning, if he only argued on, if he only said what he said on Shabbos, then we would just say, okay, we, 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 we pass in the Kabbalah right? But we're saying, no, we'll pass in the Kabbalah on Shabbos, meaning even though he says also during the week 
that the chomish is ma'akiv, but we should uh, is not ma'akiv. You can eat it. Uh, so, but we pass him like him dafka on Shabbos, but he does nonetheless argue during the week. Midamanirin. And from the fact that we say that we that, that that he says that we should pass in like Rabbi Yeshua during the week, he also argues even on Shabbos, but we hold like Rabbi Yezer on Shabbos and Rabbi Yeshua during the week. That on Shabbos you can eat it without the Chomesh and um, you'll still have to, you know, uh, add the Chomesh, but you could, but it's not Ma'ak if you could already eat the, the, the wheat. And we pass in like Rabbi Yeshua during the week that, uh, that you the, don't, don't eat the wheat until you add the Chomesh. My lab also are coming for again. They say that the machloek is between Rabbi Yezer and Rabbi Yeshua is thus. The Rabbi Yezer serve a chomesh loy meakev. The Rabbi Yezer holds that the chomesh is not meakev, and therefore you can eat it even without if if you haven't yet offered the uh, added the chomesh. Rabbi Yeshua serve a chomesh chomesh meakev, whereas Rabbi Yeshua says no, the chomesh is meakev, and therefore you have to. Um, Therefore, you cannot eat. Rabbi Shur says the chomesh is ma'akib, and you cannot eat the wheat until the chomesh is added. Omer Papa lo. Papa says no. The chuli amr chomesh lo ma'akib. Everybody agrees that the chomesh is not ma'akib. Now, everybody, even Rabbi Shur says the chomesh is not ma'akib. So then, why does he say don't eat the wheat until you add the chomesh? Well, maybe somebody's going to be a shmenjik. Maybe, maybe if we say that you can eat the Wheat without adding the chomesh, so the person's not gonna add the chomesh at all. He's not gonna add the chomesh at all. Masav chashin lepshiusa, masav lo chashin lepshiusa. Rabbi Shua says we have to be concerned that right that he's not gonna end up paying the chomesh at all. And Rabbi Ezra says, nah, you don't have to be concerned about that. You can already eat the wheat now. Amr Rabbi Yechonah says Rabbi Yechonah akomodim behektish shechilel. Everybody agrees when it comes to hektish. And that everybody agrees when it comes to hektish, however, that even though by hektish you have to redeem it plus a fifth, but already once you pay the principal amount, it's already considered redeemed since the temple treasury is going to come after you for that extra fifth. So we're not concerned that he's going to neglect to pay the fifth. No, that fifth will be paid. So everyone agrees that once you pay the principal amount by Hektish, it's already considered redeemed. With hektish, lo pligi. What do you mean that they don't argue when it comes to hektish? Ve'atanya, but we learn in a brayse. Nosen es hakaren v'lo nosen lo es ha chomesh. That if he paid the principal, but not the chomesh. Rabbi Yehuda Omer chilel. Rabbi Yehuda says that it's um, already michulo. Okay. Where am I? So, uh, where am I? Vatan, you know, since I can, if you if you paid the principal, v'lo nasa nasa chomesh, you didn't yet pay the the chomesh, and this is by hektish. Rabbi Yezer omer chilel. Rabbi Yezer says that it's mechulal. V'chacham om the chacham say lo chilel. That it's not that it, that it's not enough. That you do have to add the chomesh. Omer Rabbi says Rabbi Nirin de Rabbi Yezer be hektish. That that um, ah so says Rabbi that look. Uh, we should hold like Rabbi Yezer when it, it says Rabbi that we should hold like Rabbi Yezer when it comes to hektish. Then when it comes to hektish, we should um, say that uh, that the that the chomish is not ma'akiv. But when it comes to meiser, we should say that the chomish is ma'akiv. With the Amirin the Rabbi Eliezer be hektish from the fact that we said that we should pass in the Rabbi Yezer when it comes to hektish. Michal the Polik. Afilu b'Meiser. Well, that implies Rabbi Yezer uh, uh, would argue even by Meiser Sheni to say that the chom- the chomish is not ma'akiv. And now we the Ka'amer near and Divrei Chacham b'Meiser. Then the fact that Rabbi says that that, that we should pass him like the Chacham when it comes to Meiser Sheni that the chomish is ma'akiv. Mechlad the inu pligei afilu be'ektish means that they argue even when it comes to hektish to say that the chomish is ma'akiv. So how could Rabbi Yochanan say that everybody agrees when it comes to Ektish that the Chomesh is uh, not Ma'akib since the Gizbar, since the treasurer is, is going to come after you? Um, apparently the Chacham seem to assume that when it comes to Ektish, the Chomesh is Ma'akib. Right? I mean, how could we, we say that everybody agrees that it's not if it sounds like the Chacham say that by Ektish, Chomesh is Ma'akib? El Yitma, El Yitma, rather, if you can state it, state it like this, I'm Rabbi Yochanan, says Rabbi Yochanan, HaKolmodim B'Shabbos B'Hektish. Oh, so if it's Shabbos, 
and we're also talking about hektish where the, where the gizbar is going to come after you, well then everybody agrees, everybody agrees that if it's Shabbos and we have an inch, right, so let's go weiter, shechilel that is going to uh, be considered mechulo because chada dechsev vekarsel Shabbos onik, because on the one, first of all, we have a pause that says that you will call Shabbos a delight, so we want to sort of, you know, do whatever we can to support you in being delight, in your Shabbos being delightful. The Ode and more so all of the Gizbarin Tov and also Bishuk. And in terms of uh, the Chomesh, the, the Gizbarin are going to come after you anyways when it comes to Ektish. The treasury is going to come after you for that fifth anyways. So if you find yourself in a Shabbos and we want you to be delightful and you oppose it with the, you oppose the Hektish with the principal but not the Karen, what, the principal but not the Chomesh. Um, so in that case, you can get benefit from it on Shabbos because in the interest of having a delightful Shabbos, and we know that the treasury is going to come after you anyways, um, since it's hectic. So, in that scenario, you can get benefit um, even without adding the Chomish. Okay, fine. Where are we? Where are we? Okay. Well, this stuff is a little bit more draining than I expected. <laughs> All right. I'm remembering by Chomish, I'm remembering by Chomari. Omer, they said, Hektish enu mischal al ala karke. Okay, you cannot be mischal hektish on karke. You can only be mischal it with money or with other metaltalin. The Rachman Amr, because the pasuk says v'nos an akesef v'kam lo, that you will pay uh, money when it comes to hektish, not karke. Chum shomau she is chal al karke. But what about the chomish? Can the chomish be paid with property? Truma enu mishdalem is el menachulin. Right, if you accidentally eat truma, so then you have to pay back plus a fifth. So at least the principle of it is going to be paid not with money, but with other, you know, food. So if you if you ate a uh, you know kilo of truma wheat, so replace it with wheat, with chulin wheat. But now you don't pay for it; you you replace it. Um Amar, because the pasuk says v'nosan la koyin. Es Kodesh. They will give the uh, priest the Kodesh. Davarayilios Kodesh. Something that could be, I guess, truma. So meaning you you pay back with chulin, but not with uh, money. Chum shomau. But what about the additional fifth that you add when you eat truma by accident? Maushi ishtalim shalom and chulin. Does that need to be paid with chulin? Could that be paid with money? Meiser. What about by meiser sheni? Imeschal al asimon. So you cannot. Uh, be poda meiser sheni onto a sort of unminted coin. We saw a machlokes recently between Dosa and the Chacham, or maybe even Rabbi Kiva. I don't remember that um, you know can you use an unminted coin or not. So the assumption is no. The because the pasuk says v'tzarta akesef biyodcha lirabus kolover sheyesh olav tzura. It has to have a uh, it has to be minted chom shomai. But what about the chomish? Can the chomish be unminted? Can it be an asimon? So these questions came before Rava. Right? Can you be poda? Right? Can the chomesh of hektish be karka? Can the chomesh of uh, uh, trume be, you know, money? Can the chomesh, uh, uh, can the chomesh of Maestro Sheni be uh, an asimon? So, Amr Louis said to them, Amr Kha, the puzzle says, all of, but what does the puzzle say? Uh, oh, so it says in all scenarios. So that's by hektish. It says olav. That's by So by trume it says olav. And it says also by So it says by all three chomishes. It says olav. The rabbis chom show kimoso that the chomish needs to be olav needs to be like it. And therefore, yes, um, um, uh, by hektish. The Chomesh cannot be uh, Karke. By Trume, uh, the Chomesh must be Chulin. And by Maestro Sheni, the Chomesh cannot be an Asimon. Omar Ravina says, Ravina, Av Onon Nami Tonino, that we Oichit have a Mishnah, Hagunib Trume, that a person who steals Trume, Velo Achla, and he didn't eat it. So obviously he has to return. He takes the truma, picks it up, and gives it back to the person who stole it from. Tashlumi kefel deme truma. And in terms of paying the kefel, so the kefel is the value of truma. Now truma is less expensive than other produce because you know it's it's less in demand, 
only quantum can eat it. And also, if it becomes tummy, then, you know, you're basically limited to what you can do with it. So, you know, it's, it, it's, it, it's less desirable. Um, so therefore, it's cheaper. Um, or it's less easy to find buyers. Okay, so the KFL would be at the rate of truma. Um, the market rate of truma. Achla, mishalim, shnei kronim v'chomesh. Now, if he ate it, so then... When you eat truma, so here you have a person stole truma and then he ate it. So for stealing, you have to pay kefil. For eating, you have to add a chomesh. So you pay two karens, right? One karen for, meaning you pay the principal amount because you have to pay back what you stole. Uh, then you have to add another, right, principal amount because of the kefil. And then you also have to add a fifth for having eaten truma by accident. So, Okay, so where am I? So going to truma velo achla mishalim tashlume kefel de made truma achla. If you ate it mishalim shnei kronim, you pay two karens vachomesh karen vachomesh min achulin. Or so you have to pay karen vacholin vachom vachomesh from chulin for having eaten it. Or that karen de made truma, and then the a, a second karen for kefel uh, would would be money at the value of uh, at the market rate of truma shmamina chomsho kamoso shmamina. So we see that the chomesh. Is, is the same, uh, is from the principle, right? It's just like the principle, right? Meaning, right, we say that the, uh, the principle plus a fifth would have to be paid from chulin. So you see that the, that the fifth is just like it, um, is going to be chulin. Okay? Fine. As opposed to money. Well, my rova says, Rova Gabi Gezel, Ksiv, it says by Gezel. This is, uh, Oshim Gezelos. Wow, this, I did not expect this daf to be so big and long. Yeah, it's Bav Metziah. What do you want me to tell you? I guess all the dafs are long. I don't know. I thought that this would go faster, but it, it is very technical, I guess. Like, it's just like each line is like another sugya. So now we're getting to Asher Me'ilos, right? Whatever, we've learned it before. Asher Me'ilos, you um, steal from somebody, you deny that you that you stole it, you swear that you didn't steal it, and then you admit that you did steal it. So then you have to bring in Asher Me'ilos, and you also have to pay back plus a, um, plus a, um, a, a fifth. So Amrava says, Rava Gabi Gezel Ksiv. So by Oshem Gzelos, it says, I don't know if I said Oshem Ilos, Oshem Gzelos, it says, Vachamishisov, plural, Yosef Olav, you have to, you have to add its Chomeshes, Vitnan, and we learned in a, uh, Mishnah in Bavakama. So we've learned this before. Nosono Sakarin, Vinish Balo Ala Chomesh. So if, um, you know, he, he swore, meaning he, he stole something, he swore, he didn't steal it, then he admitted it, so now he has to pay Karen Vachomesh. So he pays the Karen, and then he says, I already paid you the Chomesh, and then he swears that. So now he's got to pay back the Chomesh, plus a Chomesh of the Chomesh. I raise the most of Chomesh, al Chomesh, Achi, Smaita, Karen, Pachus, Mishve, Puta, until the amount that he's uh, swearing about is, is less than a Shava Puta. So he's going to have to keep on, add, you know, if he keeps on swearing about having paid stuff, uh, he's going to have to keep on adding Chomeshes. Because um, it says, plural. Kabe Truma, and it says by Truma, Ish kiyochal kodesh bishkogi. If you eat trume by accident, v'yosav chamishiso olav. So you add a fifth v'tnan, and we learn in the Mishnah oichel truma b'shoigig. Somebody who eats truma by accident, mishalim karen v'chomesh. So he uh, so he pays back principal plus a fifth. Echad oichel vechad ashose vechad asoch. That's whether you eat the truma, whether you drink the truma, whether you rub the truma into your skin. Echad truma tor vechad truma tmeya. Whether it's truma tor, whether it's truma tmeya, mishalim chomsha. You pay a chomesh. You add a chomesh. The chomsha, the chomsha. And also, if you um um the chomsha, the chomsha would be I guess if you what if you swear. What what does it say? Um, where am I? Where am I? Yeah, yeah. Wait, where, where is the Chomish? Where is the Chomish? Um, Chomish, the 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 Chomish, Okay, now when it comes to Meister uh, Sheni, so there is no such concept as a Chomash of a 
Chomish. So if you're Podeh, Meiser, Shani, onto money, and then I guess, you know, you transfer that Kedusha, because let's say you were Podeh onto like an object or something, I don't know, or, I don't know, certain money, then you want to transfer it. We're going to see, I think maybe tomorrow's off or something, um, about, whatever, transferring onto different kinds of money. So you would have to add, so you do not need to add a Chomish onto the Chomish, right? So meaning, if you have Meister Shani, so you transfer it onto money, and you add a fifth, and then you transfer that value onto other value, you don't need to add a fifth for the fifth that you already added. That right, that by Meister Shani, you don't need to do that. Okay, fine. Where am I? So again, for Ilugabe Meister, when it comes to Meister Shani, it doesn't say anything in the Pasuk about adding a fifth to a fifth. We don't have it any, in any Mishnahs or Braises. We didn't ask about it. It's just, it's not a thing. Gabe Hektish. Now, what about by Hektish? What about by Hektish? Right? By Hektish, if you're mock, uh, Mokdish something, and then you're Podet, so you have to add a fifth. What if you transfer that then onto some, right, that, right, that, uh, Kedusha onto something else? You have to add a fifth for the fifth. So, um, so Iboyalon, so Gabe Hektish, Ksib, by Hektish says, Vima Mokdish. If the person who's mocked is Yigal is Basel, will redeem his house. V'yosaf chamishis kesef erkicho. Then you add a fifth. So you redeem it plus a fifth. V'tanana, we learn in Mishnah. Ha-poda es ekideisho mosef chomesh. That somebody who's poda hektish, he adds a fifth. Chumsho tanan, chumsho de chumsho lo tanan. So it only, only, it only mentions in the Mishnah that you have to add a Chomesh, but it doesn't say anything about a Chomesh of a Chomesh. If you then, if you then transfer the Kedushan to, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a second degree of, uh, of Podeing. So, do you have to add a Chomesh for the Chomesh that was added already? So, my, what's the Allah? Gabi Trumuxiv. Do we say that by Trum it says, Vyosaf, Vigabi Kodesh Nami, Hoxiv Vyosaf. Well, it says Vyosaf both by Trume and by Hekdish, and therefore just like by Trume, it, 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 it includes multiple layers of Chomishes, so the same thing would apply to Hekdish. Odumo, or perhaps, Gabi Truma, Ksiv, Vyosaf, or do we say, well, by Trume, it says Vyosaf, Ishokalt le Livov de Vyosaf, and by Trume, if you take the Vov of Vyosaf, Vishodis le al Chamishi so, and by Trume it also says Chamishi so, so if you take the vav from Vyosav and add it at the end of of, of chamishi so havli chamishi sov, so it would be chamishi sov uh, plural. Okay, whereas gabe hektish k'siv Vyosav chamishis, but by uh, hektish it says Vyosav, but then it says chamishis. It doesn't say chamishi so. So meaning afagav the chishokal de levav de Vyosav vishodis le al chamishis. Even if you take the vav of Vyosav and add it at the end of chamishis, so so havli chamishi so. It would still only be chamishi so, which is a singular layer of chomishes. So, so therefore, so therefore, there would not be multiple layers of chomishes when it comes to hektish. But typically, the havale hektish sheni. One second, but shouldn't we just already know the answer to this question because it's a second layer of hektish? Rambam Bishur ben Levi and says of Bishur ben Levi, I hektish rishin. Mosef Chomish, I like the Shani, ain't Mosef Chomish. They only add a Chomish on the first layer of Hektish, but not the second layer of Hektish. So if you have your house, and then you transfer, right, and you po that your house, you add a Chomish. Then if you po that, I don't know, onto money, and then you transfer that money onto other money, you, so now you're on a second degree of redeeming. So you would not add another Chomish to that. So shouldn't we just have our answer right there? Omele, Rav Papi the Ravina Achi Omar Rav, this is what Rav is saying. Chomesh, Ketchilas Hektish Domi. Yeah, but do we treat the Chomesh like a new Hektish, right? Meaning, yes. If you are Poda your house onto money, so you have to add a fifth. If you then transfer it onto a second layer, so yeah, the second, you would not add another fifth to the, for, for, you know, for the first sort of pigeon. But when you did your first Pidyon, you added a fifth. Maybe that fifth is now considered like something new, which means that then when you go to the next layer of redemption, while it's a second layer for the initial value, but for the Chomish, it's only really, you're only redeeming the Chomish for the first time. That's what it kind of wants to know. So, my Allah, so, so what's Allah? So, Omer of Tavyomi, says of Tavyomi, Mishmei Dabai, Omer the Pazik says, Biyosav Chamishis Kesef Erkicho, Makish Chomsho Likesef. We compare the, right, it says, Biyosav Chamishis Kesef. We compare, 
Chamishes Kesef Erko, Makish Chom Show Le Kesef Erko. We compare the Chamishes uh, to the Kesef Erko, Ma Kesef Erko, Mosef Chomesh, just like for the um, initial amount, you add a Chomesh, Av Kesef Chom Show Nami, Mosef Chomesh. So then also for the um, uh, Chomesh as well, you would add a Chomesh on, yeah, on that uh, next layer, I guess. Interesting. Gufa, we said earlier. I'm Rabbi Shuvah Levi. Says Rabbi Shuvah Levi, "Al hekdish rishin Mosef Chomish, v'alekdish sheni ein Mosef Chomish." So, on a first layer of hekdish, you would add a Chomish, but not on a second layer of hekdish. Um, Rav says, "Rav, in my time, Rabbi Shuvah Levi, Akum Rabbi Shuvah Levi says this." Um, Rav, the pasuk says, "Ve'ma makdish yigol as beso." That if a person, uh, so if a person is is makdish his house, and then he redeems his house, hamakdish v'lo matpis. That the makdish, when you're being poda, the actual hektish itself, you add a fifth. When you're being poda, sort of something that it's already been redeemed onto, then you transfer it onto something else. You would not add a fifth um, there. Okay. Tanitana kamidu Rabbi Lazar. Tanit up for Rabbi Lazar. In babehema atmeya. So if you're makdish, a tame animal, ufada be'er kecho. And you redeem it. Ma behema tmei miuchedesh etchilas ha'hekdish. Well, behema tmei. Uh, this gemara thing is like kind of technical and I don't know stringy. So, uh, uh, so, so an impure animal is unique etchilas ha'hekdish that it's like a first layer of hekdish. And we're going to ask, well, can't it also be a second layer of hekdish? All right. V'chul l'shamayim, and none of it goes to the um, uh, person who's makdish. It all entirely goes to the bedek habayis. And there's so any first layer of hektish and is entirely towards to God. Okay, so I understand why you say that something that's entirely for God to the exclusion of kachim kalim came the islu levailim begavayu lezbu miila. That since kachim kalim, like a korban shlom, for example, right, the the owner also gets to eat part of it. So therefore, there's no din miila. When it says that it has a that that the beimet mei is like a first layer of hektish, what is that coming to exclude? Tchilas hektish hud to isbe mila meila sof hektish lesbe meila. What it, it can only um, uh, um, uh, the, there would only be meila on the um, first level of it, but. You know, if you were um, transfer it, then there then there would be no din meila. So if you were like makdish something and then transfer the the hektish the the kedusha onto something else and then transfer that onto this tummy animal, there would not be a din meila. Maybe you're talking about the chomish Yoshua ben Levi, and it's like Yeshua ben Levi to say that there's no second layer of chomish. He says, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Omli Ravashi, the Ravina says Ravashi, the Ravina behemet tmeya, but chilas hektish iso bemtze hektish lesa. So says Ravashi to Ravina, so a behemet tmeya is there only sort of initial hektish, but not sort of a second layer of hektish? Omli the fisheena besof hektish. Well, there's no, ultimately you can't offer it on the mizbeach as a korban because it's behemet tmeya. So therefore there's kind of, there's no middle layer of uh Hektish for Bey Metmeya, and therefore there's no Chomesh either. We say, yeah, but, but you could have a second layer of Hektish when it comes to a Bey Metmeya. That I guess if you were Maktish like your house, and then transfer the Kedusha, let's say, onto Bey Torah, and then are Maktish that Kedusha onto Bey Metmeya, let's say. So there is a second layer of Kedusha, of, of Hektish. So we lost the chomish. So why not then add a chomish there if you redeem it? So amale arehu kisof hektish. Well, that would be uh, so. Well, we compare it to like a korban masof hektish ain eno mosif chomish af emz hektish eno mosif chomish. Just like there's no concept of a chomish when it comes to uh, like offering a korban on the mizbeach. Like what would that even mean? So also when it comes to this sort of middle layer of hektish of this beimetmeya, there's no chomish. I'm the Zutra, the Rav Mari, the Ravina. My chazis did medamisle the sof hektish, nedamia the tchila sektish. But why are we comparing this second degree of hektish by beimetmeya to a korban? 
to say that there's no um, um, to say that there's no um, chomesh. Why not compare it to the first degree where there is chomesh? Well, it makes sense to compare this middle degree to the last final degree when it's offered as a korban. Because the second degree of hektish came from a first degree, and also the korban came from this sort of second degree. The final degree came from the second degree, um, or from a previous degree. Well, no. Why do we compare this middle layer to the original layer? Because just like the the original layer has a next layer, so also the middle layer has a next layer. Okay. Kedam Rav, it's like Rav Ha'ola Ola Rishona, Hachinami Hatmeya Tmeya Rishona. Well, um, just like when it comes to the Korban Tamishal Shachar, it says He Ha'ola Ha'ola. Rishona, that the Ola is the first Korban of the day. Um, so you're also, when it says, right, Hatmeya, right? Vimba Behema Hatmeya. So it's talking about, we compare it to the first level to say that they're, um, um, to say, to say that the, that the, that the, that the idea, that the concept of the fifth only applies to the first layer, but not to any subsequent layers. Okay. Tanik of us the Rabbi Shubh and Levi, we have a price of supporting Rabbi Shubh and Levi that the fifth is only for the first layer, not for the second layer. Parazo, Tachas Parish Elektish, this cow will be instead of the cow, a cow that is currently Hektish, Talazo, Tachas Talish Elektish, this garment will be instead of the current garment, the current Hektish garment, this will replace it. Hekdesho Padri. So the Hektish is redeemed onto this new garment or cow. Yad hektish al yona and hektish has the upper hand, meaning if this cow or garment is more expensive than the original, so hektish, uh, so the bedek abayis gets that. If it is less expensive, then the bedek abayis will go after the hektish guy and say, "Hey, make up the difference." Parazo b'chomish loim tachas parashal hektish. This five sella cow is in place of the cow of hektish. Talazo b'chomish loim, or this five sella garment. Tachas talis shel hektish is in place of the talis of hektish that is currently hektish hektish shel podri. Um, it is redeemed. Al hektish rishon mosif chomish al hektish sheni and mosif chomish. On the first hektish you would add a chomish. The first degree you would add a chomish, but not for if you then and subsequently redeem the second degree. Wow, that got really technical there at the end with all the chomish stuff. Uh, but what is super interesting about today's daf is that we talked about the concept of chomish milagov and chomish milavar about how we calculate a chomish. Um, it seems that we, uh, the assumption I think is that we calculate it by um, adding a quarter to it and it's a fifth of the total as opposed to a fifth of the original amount. Peace out.